It is about 6.05. I'm going to call to order this special meeting of the Waco ISD Board of Trustees. We do have a quorum present, and at this time we're going to recess into closed session in accordance with section 551.071 and 551.074 of the Texas Government Code, specifically to address uh, issues related to item 5C, which is the discussion and possible action by the board uh, regarding consequences, possible contract and employment implications, if any, for Superintendent Dr. Marcus Nelson. Before we go back, I do not anticipate we're going to be in closed session as long as we were two nights ago. Uh, and so uh, the other thing I want to make you aware of, when we posted this agenda, it had to be posted three days before the meeting. So it was posted on Monday night before the Tuesday meeting. Uh, and so at the time it was posted, the thought was if there was anything left hanging, it would just be formal approval of something. We didn't realize that the answer would still be hanging out there. So when I asked the agenda to be prepared for Monday, we did not include public comment for tonight. And so there won't be any public comment, but we will, if we uh, come to some decision, we will move that item up earlier on the agenda so you don't have to sit through the other matters. And we'll take that up when we come out of closed session. All right? And with that, we'll go into closed session. Thank you. It is 8.40. We will reconvene an open session, the special meeting of the Waco ISD Board of Trustees. We've been in closed session under Section 551.071 and 551.074 of the Texas Government Code, and no action was taken. Uh, folks, I, I want to begin by apologizing for the length of the closed session, uh, but we had a development this evening that we wanted to pursue. Um, and. I will apprise you of that at this time. We'll move down to item 5C, which is discussion of and possible action by the board regarding consequences and possible contract employment implications, if any, for uh, Superintendent Dr. Marcus Nelson. Uh, I'd like to read for you something uh, we have received this evening from Dr. Nelson. Uh, dear Mr. Atkins, members of the Waco ISD Board of Trustees, Together, over the past 21 months, we have sparked a dramatic transformation in Waco ISD. On the first day of school in August 2017, the Texas Education Agency warned us that five schools could face closure at the end of that school year if they failed to meet state standards. In response, we raised expectations for both students and staff. We focused on the rigor and quality of classroom instruction, and we created an in-district charter network, the first of its kind in Texas, to ensure that the campuses would remain open and under local control. None of this would have been possible without the community stepping up to support our students in unprecedented ways. Prosper Waco and Waco ISD came together to create Transformation Waco, a new nonprofit organization serving as the operating partner for our Transformation Zone. More than a thousand people participated in community meetings to discuss the future of our schools. And in just two years, the number of volunteers investing their time and their talents and our students' success has nearly doubled. I am incredibly proud of the way we have strengthened classroom instruction, but I am most proud of the way that our community has united in support of our students. Very few places have what Waco has, our sense of common purpose, and shared commitment to our students' success is a rare thing. I have been reflecting on that and on the conversations taking place all across our community, including my conversations with you Tuesday night. The discussion has become more about me and my poor decisions than our schools, our students, and their success. I have to acknowledge that people disagree about what consequences I should face, and if this debate continues, I fear that it may end up dividing this community and distracting us from what we should be our focus, the kids. For that reason, I am resigning my position as superintendent of schools for the Waco Independent School District effective immediately. Thank you for the opportunity to serve as your superintendent. While I will not be continuing in that role, I will continue to believe in this community, in its educators, and most of all, in the limitless potential of its students. Sincerely, A. Marcus Nelson. 
Um, ladies and gentlemen, two years ago, this board worked very hard to bring Dr. Marcus Nelson into this district. Uh, Dr. Nelson is a man with great talent and tremendous gifts. But like all of us, he's also flawed and at times a broken man. When this issue first arose, I was very careful to try to construct it as a balance between recognizing his immense leadership and his success in uniting this community and our public schools against the message we were sending to our young people. Uh, I'll confess in recent days for some board members, a third issue arose relating to uh, integrity or character. And some of that was based on comments made in some interviews over the weekend. For some people that concern may have arose even before the interviews. I honestly don't know who's right and who's wrong and it doesn't matter because Dr. Nelson could see the division it was causing in this community and he's decided to resign uh, to help us to begin healing. I'm gonna tell you, the last two years have been absolutely amazing in our district. And many of those, for many of those initiatives, Marcus Nelson was the inspiration. But I also want you to know that what's happening in our community is bigger than any one man. Dr. Nelson deserves credit because he's the one that went out in the community and he's the one that made the ask. But it was this community that stepped up and delivered. It's this community that partnered with Waco ISD to form Transformation Waco, the first of its kind uh, in district charter in the state of Texas. It was this community that through congregations all over the city adopted the STARS reading program and began doing book clubs and reading with our young people and mentoring our young people during lunch. It was this community that joined Baylor's Solid Gold Neighbor Initiative and really took ownership of several of our campuses in East Waco. And it was this community that saved a struggling Avance program and formed Inspiracion so we could continue to have parent education for our young Hispanic communities. Most importantly, it was this community that answered the call and over the last two years has almost doubled our total number of volunteers on our campuses every week to over 3,000 individuals. Star tests are gonna start in a few weeks. Right now, our teachers, our staff, and our students need the support of this community more than ever. This has been a difficult two weeks. It has been unlike anything I have ever experienced. And I understand that reasonable people looking at this set of circumstances could come to very different conclusions. But it's time to come together and it's time to move forward. We don't need to spend another moment trying to deify or vilify Marcus Nelson. That book is closed. It's time for everybody in this room and everybody throughout Waco ISD to move forward to the next chapter. And so I'm gonna make a pledge to you. This Board of Trustees is gonna continue that outreach. We're going to continue to work with you we're gonna to continue to partner with you, and we're gonna to continue to listen to you. Everyone up here sincerely appreciates the trust you have put in us over the past several days. And it is our intent to honor that trust and to work together to build an even brighter future for the Waco Public Schools. In closing, I want to take this opportunity to also thank all our staff for everything they've done over the last couple of years, but also for their perseverance and their willingness to continue to work through some very difficult and trying circumstances over the last few weeks. 
Uh, and with that, unless someone has anything else to add, I will entertain a motion. I move that we approve the voluntary separation and release agreement. For a second. Second. Was that? Stephanie. Thank you, Ms. Cordway. Any questions, comments, discussion? All right. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay. Motion carries unanimously. All right. Uh, before we move on, we know we've got to move forward. Uh, and this board is committed to setting up some listening opportunities to talk about next steps uh, and moving this community forward. Uh, we'll begin to get those communications out to the community, to our staff, uh, and we will uh, begin that process. And, and I can't tell you how much we all appreciate the prayers and support Again, the trust you've placed in us, and, and candidly, the, the perspectives and thoughts that have been shared over the past several days. So once again, thank you on behalf of the board for, for that support. Um, we are, n Cheryl, I, the financial report is in the packet. Is there anything you need to highlight in there? Okay. Uh, we're gonna pass a presentation this evening on Lone Star Governance. There are a couple of action items 5A is possible action to consider hiring an employee related to a current administrator. Uh, I'll entertain a motion. So, thank you, Ms. T. Kells. Is there a second? Second. Second. Thank you, Norm. Any questions, comments? All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, motion carries. Uh, the next item is item 5B, discussion and possible action to approve a bid award for fiber optic wide area network, month-to-month -month services under E-rate. Uh, unless there are any questions, I'll entertain a motion. So move. Thank you, Ms. Cordway. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Ms. Tekel. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Are there any questions? Uh, the motion carries unanimously. Are there any, motion, any questions on any of the items on the consent agenda listed at item six? All right, those items will be presented next week for action. And if you have any questions, feel free to pull them at next week's meeting. Uh, with that, is there anything else from the dais? Uh, then hearing no objections at 8.51, we'll stand adjourned.